Hey my friends, Josie here and welcome to my channel. I want to speak to you today, such an important topic from my perspective, about relationships and when to set boundaries, when you compromise your integrity over and over and over again, it's like the universe is giving you all of these signs to look, pay attention and to create healthy boundaries. So that's what I want to talk to you in this video to bring some spiritual perspective on relationships. Hope it helps you. <laughs> Let's get right into it. So how do you know if your relationship is not moving in the right direction? It's pretty much if at the end of your day, you always feel like you're betraying yourself, your sense of integrity over and over and over again. That's the time, my friends, when you really need to ask deep questions and find inner power and assertiveness to set boundaries. So if you are, that's my number one thing, and I notice this over and over again with my clients, if your partner makes you feel worth less, then you must set these boundaries. When your partner always makes you feel like you're not enough, you know, you're not pretty enough, you're not thin enough, you're not good enough at anything, whatever you're doing is not good enough. And if you want to deserve their love and acceptance and approval, you need to try harder, you need to be more, you have to do more. You always feel like, you know, whatever you're doing, you're not enough. So this is the first sign that this relationship is going to the dead end and you have to set these boundaries. So the second dynamics in a relationship is when you feel powerless. You really need to set these boundaries. You know, if you feel like you don't have a choice, if your partner always kind of steps forward and makes these decisions for you on your behalf, somebody who can approve you or disapprove you, somebody who strips you of that power to make your own decisions in life, on a micro level, on a macro level, in all areas. So that's when you really have to stop and ask yourself, where is it going? Because at the end of your life, you'll have a lot of regrets looking back. Powerless relationships are just there destroying you from the inside. They're just killing your soul one day at a time. So the third dynamics of relationship that you really need to look into it is when your partner takes away your joy over and over again, you know, why are you so happy? What's the matter with you? Why are you smiling? Why are you doing things that make you happy? You know, I'm unhappy. I hate myself, you know, I hate my life, I hate my job. So you have to understand it. You have to reflect that misery back at me. Every time I come home, I want to see some misery. So stop being happy. I prohibit you to be happy. You know, if you want to have this relationship with me, you have to understand how I feel. Don't show me what I don't have. Just be of more of what I am so we can share this energy together, the energy of misery. So if you feel like you live that kind of life, somebody constantly takes away your joy. So it's time for you to set healthy boundaries. So the next dynamics, if this relationship takes away your peace of mind, if you don't know what's going to happen to this relationship, right? If you cannot trust your partner, you cannot be sure in your happy future with this partner. You don't have that peace of mind, but you have a lot of worry, a constant anxiety, constant fears about this relationship. Maybe your partner has threatened to leave you in some way. So you don't have the peace of mind when you go to bed at night, you feel sick. You feel insecure. You feel again, you know, tomorrow you're gonna wake up and things will be different. So that's the time, my friends. You also have to step forward and set boundaries. Enough is enough. Because if you don't have the peace of mind, you don't have your health, you don't have your wellness, you, your health will start to decline very quickly because internally you're not happy. You're preventing yourself from experiencing your own happiness. So when you don't have a peace of mind in your relationships, it is time to set boundaries. And finally, when someone in your relationship takes away your spirit, 
your connection with your soul, with your divine purpose, with your own destiny. You know, there's music in you that wants to be expressed. They want to live, they want to see the light. But your partner doesn't allow that to happen through their actions, through their words. Take away your hope, take away your faith, your connection with divine love. Then what is it in life worth living for? If your partner disconnects you from your soul, this is the time for you to really step forward and set some boundaries. And how do you do this? First, you need to communicate your needs and you need to step into your power. You have to speak your truth. You have to let your partner know that it's not okay. It's not okay. That's how you feel. If your partner resists constantly, it's not just a one-time event, but this is a recurrent pattern in your relationship over and over again. So people live this kind of life for years and they don't say a word. They just suffer in silence. So, but that's not going to happen to you because you will step into your power. You will create some meaningful changes, important changes in your relationship for your sake and for the sake of your partner. They need to know that there's something going on. So make these empowered choices to speak your truth and if nothing happens, or if your partner refuses to accept your needs on again fundamental level, then you have to move forward. And that's the power that you need to make. This is the choice that you're learning to make. Step into self-love because every relationship, every relationship has only one purpose, is to teach you to love yourself more. So when you love yourself enough to make changes for your own sake, then you know how much lighter, how much more aligned with your soul you will be every time you make these choices. So here you go, guys. Some thoughts on how to set boundaries in your relationships. Hope I helped you with this video. If you want to share your stories, please do so in the comments below. And I'm sending all of you my love. Be well. I'll talk to you in the next video.